Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Tonight I'm doing part two, how to sharpen a knife or how to maintain a knife with a sharpening steel. Last week I did part one and I showed you just how easy it could be to maintain and keep your knives at peak razor performance. Tonight I'm gonna do part two. And tonight what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover your basic kitchen knife grind types because kitchen knife grinds are not the same country to country and the difference in the grind types will dictate how you will use the honing steel or how you will use sharpening stones if you decide to sharpen these knives on stones. Okay, I'll cover sharpening knives on stones in later videos, but it's a good piece of knowledge to have is the difference between the way knives are ground by different manufacturers or in different countries. So I'm going to cover this with you tonight and then I'm going to cover a few of the reasons why knives go dull and then I'm going to show you how to actually sharpen a knife using a honing rod even though last week I told you a honing rod is only for honing but there's a secret up my sleeve and I'm going to show it to you. So as always with YouTube 15 minutes let's get going I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so here we are. Let's cover our basic kitchen knife grind types. This particular grind type is the one that most people are familiar with. It's called a V-grind or a saber grind. It is what you will find with most of the European made knives out there, French, German, and even American Western European style knives. Some people call it a V, some people call it a saber. This is your spine. This is the primary grind. It goes from the spine to your secondary bevel. The secondary bevel is that part of the knife that you stroke on a stone to thin out to make your primary cutting edge. This particular kind of a knife grind is sharpened at a 50-50 differential. In other words, no matter what angle you choose for your knife, whether you want 25 degrees, which is 50 in total, 25 on each side, whether you want 20 degrees, which is 40 degrees, 20 in total on each side, whether you want 30 degrees, which is 15 on each side, this particular knife grind gets sharpened at a 50-50 equal amounts on both sides. It's your standard Western European knife grind type. Another standard American and also European knife grind type is something called the full flat grind. This is where a knife is not made as a V, but the billet of steel, the piece of steel, is a straight cut and then your secondary bevel is a V-cut. You still have a spine. Your primary grind goes from the spine to the secondary bevel. This secondary bevel is the piece that you strop on a stone to thin out to create your primary cutting edge. This is also a 50-50 grind type, no matter what angle you want. Okay, 50 degrees would be 25 degrees on each side. 40 degrees would be 20 on each side. Okay, 45 degrees would be 22 and a half degrees on each side which is a common angle, and 30 degrees would be 15 on each side, which is very thin, something you get with a Japanese knife. But no matter what angle you choose, this full flat grind is sharpened at a 50-50 differential, the, both, the same degree on both sides. Now there's another knife type that you'll see in some of the older knives, some of the older Dexter Russell knives, you don't see it very often. It's called the high flat grind. Now this looks somewhat like a V grind or a saber, but it's not. You have your spine. This is your high flat. This is supposed to mimic the flat like in the last knife style I showed you. You have your high flat, okay? Then you have a total flat grind, your primary grind to a secondary bevel. That secondary bevel is sharpened at a 50-50 differential to create your primary cutting edge. Once again, no matter what the degree, okay, 25 on each side, 20 on each side, 22 and a half on each side, 15 on each side, this knife grind is sharpened 50-50, equal degrees on each side. There's another primary knife style, knife grind type that you won't see on many kitchen knives today, but it is out there. It's called the hollow grind. Now you'll have to forgive me, I'm not an artist. This looks somewhat like the high flat like I just showed you, but it is completely different. Once again, a spine. You do have a high flat. Your primary grind is a somewhat concave motion to a secondary bevel. That secondary bevel is sharpened at a 50-50 differential. 25 degrees on each, 20 on each, 15 on each, 
22 on each to create your primary cutting edge. No matter what you do, this knife is sharpened at a 50-50, a hollow grind, very easy to sharpen. Another common knife grind type, well I shouldn't say common because you don't see it very often anymore. This is called a concave grind. It was patented by Joseph Gerber of Gerber Knives in 1985 and you just don't see it very often. It looks like a hollow grind. It's very similar to the hollow grind I just showed you except that you have your spine and your primary grind is this big concave motion to a secondary bevel. There's no high flat there's no flat, there's just a spine and a deep curvature to a paper thin secondary bevel. That bevel is also sharpened at 50-50 differential, 25, 20, 22 and a half, 15. This particular cutting geometry, quite sharp, quite deadly, but you don't see it very often anymore because it costs a lot of money to make that kind of grind. That is a 50-50 grind as well. Now we'll move on to some differential grinds. This is your standard Japanese chisel grind that you will find on Yanagibas, Dibas, Takabikos, Takahikos, Moat Petties, a lot of your standard Japanese knives. Okay? Some people call it a chisel grind because the blade reminds them of a chisel. Okay? But what you actually have, in fact, is what's called a zero grind. You have a spine, okay. you have a long primary grind to the tip, you have a short primary grind or you could even call it a high flat. This, the chisel part heading to your point, is your secondary bevel. This secondary bevel to the point and this primary grind to the point leaves an edge that has no secondary bevel. In other words, if you can see this, this is a secondary bevel. Okay. Your standard Japanese knife has no standard secondary bevel. This grind and this grind come to a zero point. All right, a zero grind. Very sharp, very effective. In some cases, these can come lightly beveled at around uh, 90 10 or 80 20. That would be 90 10, 80 20. In rare cases, but a truly traditional knife will be a zero grind. And as you work it on the stone on both sides, it will take that very fine primary cutting edge and work it to a zero point where there's no secondary grind. Very effective. And for some, very difficult to maintain. Now this is a variation of the Japanese chisel. It's called a Japanese westernized chisel grind. And what they do here is they basically make a Japanese blade. You have your spine, you have a primary grind from the spine on down to the primary cutting edge, you have another short primary grind or you could even call it a high flat and a secondary bevel that stops right here. And then what they do is they apply a westernized grind, a westernized secondary bevel to a Japanese chisel ground knife to make it easier for the American market to sharpen. Me personally, I don't care for this. They come sharpened at 85, 15, and 80, 20, or 90, 10. The higher number being to the front, the lower number being toward the back. Okay, this is a Japanese westernized chisel grind. You do find it in some American made knives and in some Japanese made knives for the American market. You have to be very careful when you're looking for Japanese knives. If this is something you don't want, Make sure you look closely so that you don't get stuck with one. This is the newest thing on the market. This is very popular in Japanese made knives. Okay? It's called a differential grind. Okay? Now, you'll find this on a lot of the Japanese knives. Max, Hattori's, Shun's, Mizuno's, Masahiro's. The list goes on and on. And basically, what they've created is a full flat grind. Here's your spine. Here's your primary grind. Here's your other primary grind. But you see where the secondary bevels are different? Here's a long secondary bevel in the front and a short secondary bevel in the back. 
to a primary cutting edge. Now, what this is supposed to mimic is the full Japanese grind. Primary, secondary, to a zero grind. This bevel and this bevel are supposed to come to a zero grind as the standard Japanese knife does. The problem is the manufacturers don't tell you this. So a lot of chefs will buy this differentially ground knife and they'll sharpen it like a European knife to make it a 50-50 grind. And what do they end up doing? To get this bevel to meet this bevel, they'll grind away all of this metal to make a 50-50 grind and they've just wasted so much steel. Okay. So when it comes to sharpening this kind of knife, you have to know how to set the angles to the stone or at least how to touch the angles to your honing steel or ceramic rod. I wouldn't take a knife like this or even a full ground Japanese knife to a rod, but I would take it to a ceramic for a light touch up. All right, there you have it. That's a basic covering of your basic kitchen knife grind types. And let's continue on with sharpening on a, on a rod. Hold on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, that's it for your standard kitchen knife grind types. Unfortunately, it's a long video, so I'm gonna make two parts to this one channel post and to my blog post. So stick around, I'm gonna make the second video and I hope you enjoy both. See you soon. Take care.